Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, I like how nobody bothers to clean up after a vampire attack. God, shouldn't you remove this corpse? These guards are not good for nothing. All right, I'm supposed to be seeing, uh, talking to Maven. Let's see. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Sense her around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Maven, you wanted to see me? So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Do yes. you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. <laughs> I did it gladly. And I would do it again. I don't appreciate your attitude. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. I do. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> Is that confidence I hear? All they do is work. Or is it arrogance? You would know. Strange how often they're confused. Isn't it? You have it? to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. And you mistakenly believe that you can rely on me. That's interesting. Miss Blackbriar. So what you're telling me is that you have no faith. In the guild? Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. Oh, but you All should. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Binary. I like that. Black or white, one or zero? Hmm. Maybe we have some things in common. So, where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malice Machius. Much longer must we stay He'll fill you in on all the details. Whiterun? And why are you looking at me like that? So, I've been hearing your name in court quite a bit lately. Have you joined Njol as official peacekeepers of Riften? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't pretend to be modest. I'm talking about your new role as champion. Champion? Apparently you've made quite an impression in the Rift. Really? The people won't stop blathering about you. Hmm. I expect that you'll distance yourself from the affairs of state. In other words, keep your nose out of my business and we'll do just fine. Oh, will we now? That's interesting. I feel wonderful. Your warning like seems to indicate that I am poking around in the right places. We'll see. So tell me, who runs the show at Hunting Brew Meadery? Some layabout named Sabion. Been layabout? Been on my side for the last few years now. How did you become allied with the Thieves' Guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Interesting. Your family has been acquainted with the Thieves' Guild. And you have a daughter running around who is preoccupied, let us say, with death. <coughs> Seems like she'd make a fine recruit. If not for the Thieves' Guild, then for the Dark Brotherhood, or both. So this Sabion seems more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. 
in only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. So, get rid of him, and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Sabion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. <clears throat> and why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. Can't you? <laughs> All right. Good day. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. Will I? I actually think it's going to be the other way around. <laughs> said sunlight so maven has given me an opening her daughter i need to bring her over to my side look at this another thrall just laying here on the pavement no one's bothered to clean up the corpse tisk tisk i say Guards are just as bad as Iona and not cleaning up the cobwebs when I first demanded it. But now, she has no choice. <laughs> Cyrus outfit. It looks like he uh, probably wore through it or had to sell it. Now he's back to rags. And there's something to be said about uh, being dressed this way. There's a lot that can be done and accomplished without people none the worse for whatever. For knowing what we're up to. I'm wondering... Now that I have a home, I wonder if I should even approach Brenuin. Hmm. And with these powers that I have, can I turn him to my side? Oh, Amran. Hello, friend. Hello. What do you do for work? I'm a mercenary. Really? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Well, that's interesting that you're a mercenary, but I suppose getting your sword, you know, you need it more than just yourself, I understand. But anyway, have you ever thought of joining up with the Legion or the Stormcloaks? Got a loving wife, my daughter, and a patch of land to call my own. What more can a man ask for? Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Well, good for you. Good night. Right then. I think Brynjewen went into the bannered mare. Hmm. I wonder if I should disguise myself. Does it matter? Not this time. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. There he is. He still hasn't seen me. Who am I here to see? 
Oh, Malus Machius. Oh, good. He's... Looks like he's drunk. So he's fallen off the wagon again. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, we made a nice team. If it... Huh? Oh, get out of my way. Days come and gone. The age of aggression is just about... You there, are you malice? Can't a man drink in peace? No. Maven said you would be expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Do we? Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? And how do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever. Clever man. You'll go far. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Very well. How do I get to the brewing vats? Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. And what about just going in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I'm curious. Why are you doing all this? I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. Well, someone has to. There's more to this, then, than a debt, isn't there? If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Sabjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in Whiterun? You're looking at him. Oh, am I? <laughs> Why bother poisoning the nest for Sabjorn? Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. All right, then. Remember, consider it Sabjorn done. Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. Yes, nothing like a helping hand from a beggar. <laughs> All right, here we are. Hunting brew. Hello, sir. I'm just a poor old beggar. Looking for work. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? I can. Tell me, what's wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's the only way. I operate. I compel you to pay me. Oh, very well. Here's half. 
You'll get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. I think your lazy assistant is up in the bannered mare having a drink. But you've got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. You mentioned a lazy assistant. Would his name be Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. I see. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Yeah, you certainly do. Looks like it was quite a ruckus in here. The size of those things. All right, let me see what I can do. But you know what? I think I need a little more payment from you. Was something we discussed unclear? No, oh, I just need a... A little, um, extra energy, I'd say. Thank you. Before I take on the, uh, vermin. <laughs> I've been lucky so far as a vampire. should be immune to disease, but I need to be more careful. Iron flesh. flesh really does the job. Would have been nasty. Oh, I see they put traps everywhere trying to get rid of. Oh, well. Now that couldn't have been a trap for a schema. 
could it? Finished me though. And a soul gem, sky shard, whatever it is. Here, let me heal myself. Alright, the blood javelin was successful. Who are you? Circlet of the Voice. That in this, this journal. Ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile. The children threw rocks, the women spat upon me as menfolk dragged me into Whiterun's prison. They branded me a danger to their pitiful existence, used words like madman and insane. Could a madman escape the prison undetected? Could a lunatic establish a laboratory right under their noses? Could a psychopath create a mighty army? from the common skeeva. My days as an apprentice alchemist in Winterhold were no better. Those egotistical braggarts couldn't compete with my abilities. Where they fell short, I constantly excel. I'd constantly excel. Did they appreciate my genius? Did they relish my contributions? No. My instructors beat me and said that I was irresponsible. And the Archmage cast me into the streets like a common beggar. Well, at least that I can identify with. As my enemy grows complacent and weak, they forget Hamelin and his utter brilliance. I build my army. I use every bit of knowledge at my disposal to forge their demise. Thanks to Sabjorn's unwitting assistance, my legion grows stronger every day. The irony that the same ingredients used to make his vile drink could be used to feed my offspring isn't lost upon me. Oh, they will pay. Their ignorance for impending annihilation amuses me. I will bury Whiterun and watch Whiterun hold burn, winter hold burn, oh wow. And when they experience the fury I've unleashed upon them, when my progeny are gnawing the flesh from their bones, they will come begging and groveling at my feet, but there will be no mercy, no quarter, and no leniency. And I will laugh, and I will dance, and I will rejoice over their mangled, broken corpses. The time for recompense has arrived. Ten years of pain, ten years of misery, ten years of death. Well, sir, I think you got what you deserved. And speaking of deserving, let's see, what should I use this for? Hmm. I think alteration. There we are. All right, poison applied. A sneak insight gain. And what do we have here? A 
got six gold. All right, let me get out of here. I think my work inside here is done. Oops, I almost got trapped just like a skeever. And now, to poison the vat. Let's see. There must be some stairs around here. Yes, here. Okay, uh Chest that I cannot, uh, there's nothing to it. All right, anyway, here, let's put in this poison. There we go. At least I'm not hungry, thanks to Sabion. But that's done, let's see. What's left? Hmm, looks like he's still being seduced. <laughs> oh, and uh, hello, sir, stranger. Sabion? Was something we discussed unclear? No, not at all. The job is finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. And what about my pay? You'll just have to wait until Will after the I? captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Oh, I must. It's another thing I don't quite understand. How long does my seduction well, Sabjorn, last? Now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Don't come over here. I had nothing to do with it. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. Oh. That will be my pleasure. And you. I bet it you're will coming be. with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Sabjorn. the thing. I could probably have taken another bite. Well, well, well. It looks like our job here is done. I don't think that could have gone any better. No. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I need to get a look at Sabjorn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I imagine the key would. So, you never mentioned that raving lunatic living in the tunnels. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our really? previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, oh. you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him. 
and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Mm-hmm. Well, I think White Run is the better for his execution. <laughs> Now, what are you going to do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. I see. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Well, if I'm ever in the area and I'm hungry, I'll come see you. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Where is, uh, Sabjorn's office? Uh, looks like it might be upstairs. So where are the stairs? Aha. Uh -huh. You know, this is a long way to walk every day, every morning. Hmm. A game at dinner. Alchemy insight. You know, I'm getting all these things far too late after I've already, uh, established myself as a master alchemist. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, a promissory note. Sabjorn, within the enclosed crate, you'll find the final payment as we discussed. Funding Brew Meadery should now begin brewing mead at full production. In regards to your concerns about interference from Maven Blackbriar, I can assure you that I'll do everything in my power to keep her assets and her cronies at bay. This is the beginning of a long and successful future for both of us. Is there anything else? Of course the key wouldn't work here. There we are. Brew to canter. I think I will help myself to it. Silver, no thank you. What's in here? Hmm, two gold, all that for nothing. Alright, silver ingots, no thank you. Is this a note? Maven Blackbriar. Whoops. Offer. Sabion, this is my third and final offer. I feel that I've been more than generous with the amounts I have stated to buy your meadery. There is no reason for competition to stifle both of our businesses. Unified, we could make Blackbriar Mead a household name and bury anyone else who tries to start a similar business in Skyrim. If you wish to accept my offer, please come to Ripton and stay at my manor as a guest. I think you'll find that being part of the Blackbriar family would be both lucrative and life-saving. Mm, well... <laughs> well... She's nothing if not, uh... I don't even have the words for it. All 
All right, well, I think it's time for me to get back to the Thieves' Guild and... Well, I'm walking in circles now. If I can find my way out of here, it's time for me to get back to the Thieves' Guild. Here we are. Thank you for sitting there and so I could see the way out. Farewell. Delvin. Well, it appears your actions are starting to make waves out there. People are talking about the guild again. In fact, I just got a special job requested. I haven't gotten anything like that in years. So what is this special request? We actually got a request from one of the most powerful families in Whiterun. The Battleborns. Make your way up there and look for Alfred. He says he's got a matter that requires a delicate touch. And I suggested you for the job. Did Don't you? make me the fool and let me down. All right? All right. But while I'm here, are you interested in buying this hunting brew decanter? Well, well. I was looking for this no, little beauty. No, you weren't. Don't even If you try happen it. across any other unusual trinkets like this, you weren't even you thinking sure about this thing. I promise it'll be worth it's the not effort. until I brought it to your attention that you said that you were thinking fair. about it. Oh, 800. It looks like my, um... My earning rates are going up. There's plenty more work for the likes of you. Alright. So... There's still... Oh, I need to go and talk to Maven. Well, I'm back. I trust you have good news for me? It depends. But the job is finished, and here's the information you requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. I would lower your I voice if I were you. Up for some fishing this week. But I have I seen that symbol before. Well... Whoever this mysterious oh, marking now. represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. Uh, whatever. You bring this information to the thieves. Blah, 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 blah. There's also the matter of your payment. Oh, payment? Well, I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your really? services. Really? Wait a minute. What do you say? A dagger of I weakness to po That's a. I'm not a Anything. Out of my way. Yet. No, you get out of my way because you're daughter. in it. For your sake, I hope And that right. won't last. Because if it is you, for very Maven long. finds out. The dress <laughs> is going to be one member small. <laughs> oh, back to the thieves' guild. All this back and forth. I took Jade. Had plenty, Volwolf. Jade. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mara is the handmaid of the bike. Bet you well, suit yourself. No, she can't still can't tell him a vampire. In fact, no one can. It's a quite a blessing. If you want to look at it that way. All right, back to the Thieves' Guild. Well, Brenyov, it's interesting to see you here. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yet, very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Unfortunately. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. That's probably pretty easy to do. So... What else? Is there anything else we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. You know what? I 
I don't care. You tried to threaten me to go see Maven. I don't care. I don't care about any of these people. When I'm done, when my power has grown to its apex, you will all be at my mercy. Ha, 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 ha.